Hello, uh, welcome to the stream. Um, so, hope we're all having a good day so far. Um, so we're going to carry on with a bit of Grim Fandango. Uh, we started, or we left off last time, um, finishing year one. So we're just starting year two. We've just got to. Um, I want to say Ruba Carver, but I've got a feeling Ruba Carver is a ship. Anyway, we got to the we got to this next part. Manny has just become the casino owner, building his way up from a lonely old mop person cleaner. Anyway, and I have my iced coffee in a San Miguel glass, but hey. That is good. I hope we're all having a lovely day. Uh, so, let me just move that because then I might not have to. Uh, one thing I also want to just quickly do, which I always do and I always forget to do. Let's just check that obviously the mic uh, is working all right. Uh, and so with that, uh, oh, here we go. Right, hi Philippa, sorry about that, I just had a, an email um, that I just had to read. Um, right, I'll have, to, I'll have to just sort this out and then I will start the game, I do apologise. I will be right back.
Right, I do apologise about that. Uh, right, let's get going. So as I say, we left off. Um, Manny's just become the new casino owner. So, let's see what we gotta do. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be borne to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Ah, Lady yes. Luck. No, we won't touch that as of yet. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask Must me that every night. night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes! I think tonight's definitely the night! Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down at the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay, tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a coat in, then... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Help me out. I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Oh, fun, 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 fun. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. Okay. I've got, I don't know, Philippa, if you're able to still hear me. But remember I was saying about the bits and the um, sound alerts that I've got. Well, I added some to the, um, what I've called the, you know, the channel rewards, which I've renamed to Omen Points. Anyway, so I ended up getting some that people can use in the, uh, in the chat. This is one. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's this one. Uh, 
has been one of my favorites. Hang on. No, well. There's this one, but this one's an expensive one because of what it is. I'm going to have to do it. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds, I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure, it makes me wanna dribble dribble, you know, riding in my fear, you really have to see it, six feet two in a compact, no slack, but luckily the seats go back, I got a knack to relax in my mind, sipping some red, red wine, nice. Full jingle, and then, last but not least, yeah. After, because my little lad is obsessed with saying yeet. Anyway. <coughs> oh. <coughs> I want to see what this does. It says hydrate, but uh, nothing comes off. That's a shame. I thought something might come up. Anyway. Uh, I also have... Um, a merch store now. Once I get my gaming logo, like my profile, my brand, basically, once I get that sorted, that'll then become like the logo that goes on everything. But at the moment, it's one of my. Um, well, it's my face. It was the first ever like picture that I got done turned into like a cartoony kind of effect. Uh, but there is a merch store now. And just because I've been playing around yesterday, uh, we now offer raffle. So, to, for points. So obviously, this will be a more interesting one for uh, for people to be able to join in while they're in the chat. There's also like I did I did a lot of the 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 uh, did I do the bingo one? Let's have a look. Maybe I didn't do the bingo one. Unless it doesn't work because of the roulette thing. Not that anyone... Yeah, no one entered the raffle. Yes, I know that. So, let me try the bingo. I'm sure, that, I'm sure I included the bingo. Maybe I didn't. But anyway. Yeah, so there's lots of different, different commands now. I wonder, does this work? Yeah, there you go. There's the list of all the commands that we now offer. Um, street, st street. Pfft, let's try that again. Stream element is uh, doing a few other commands now. Mechi. Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! set off and leave it open, would you? Anyway. This gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. There ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here. But, but nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Uh, well, 
Good luck, son. That's all I got to say. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, Manny, Manny. The limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it. But he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he, he can, yes. No offense, Manny. But there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman Arrange is a little late. But he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. Hmm. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Seaman Naranja doesn't show up for work, which he will, will, and I get a Maritime Union card, which, which you you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Mm, no. Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Awful job. Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. Yeah, right. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> that funny. Because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I'd better go finish packing. I. You do that, son. Alright, and so the fun begins. This is one of my favorite years as well. And I just think it's got the most interesting characters mixed with um, like sort of just the best sort of um, gameplay puzzles mechanics and everything like the characters are brilliant the puzzles are interesting like year two is is the uh, is one of my favorite years Where are you going with there that? it is oh. Max's giant cat racetrack how's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that yeah, it's definitely one of my, uh, it's definitely one of my favorite years. Excuse me. Ooh. 
Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and... <laughs> no, I do appreciate you, uh, appreciate you being I'm here. I'm more happy about it's, leaving uh, town every minute. It's all good. Thank you very much for showing up. Not now, Manny. I mean... Oops. I told you, Calavera. Not now. I don't know why I'm doing this yet. Not it's ready empty. for it. Oh, I have. Ah! Eh? Who is over there? It's empty. Yes, I, when I am done with Naranja here, I am going to take to nitrogen. Freeze the bones, less painful that way. Hey, that sounds good. I could go for that. You got plenty of painkiller in that bottle of yours, so shut up and hold still. Yeah, oh my gosh, these controllers. Right. Anyway, all right. I haven't really done much today. Sorry, I do apologise. We will crack on. Bit of a. You know when you just think to yourself, oh yeah, I'm ready to stream, I've got everything sorted, and then an email flipping drops and messes all your plans up. But we'll concentrate on this now. Right, let's go. Because it's 20 past 10, we stream until around 12-ish. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more. Fuchi, that smell is It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Great. Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. <laughs> like a great night for cat races. Yeah, as, as I was saying, like, I easily got distracted today. 
I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. All right. Um, yeah, this this year, year two on Grim Fandango is just absolutely, absolutely brilliant. The puzzles, the Ruba Carver is just an amazing setting. Um, yeah, it's definitely one of my favourite parts of the game. You know what? I'm gonna just try. I've never, I've never done this side before. The camera-related one. I don't actually know what it. Ah, oh, right. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, I'm with you. So instead of right, yeah, this might be. See, I'm used to the tank controls because that's what you needed. You needed to use for the achievement. Um. <coughs> And so, yeah, so normally I'd have to push forward it here, but this might actually work a bit better. Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him! Still hung up on Max, eh? Hey? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh, he wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Manny. At last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? I'm, oh, I'm, Gramps. I'm, don't start. Just having a bit of a... Okay. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark why is she, and cold, why is she smoking like out the, the side of her head? Uh, You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? I'm chasing a woman I met once and can't forget. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Jump. <laughs> Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive, we slept. Life's just some rapid eye movement in a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Just a dab will drop you. Hey, 
Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water. Let the waiter clean up after himself. Uh, right, I'm looking in the wrong place for the wrong thing, so... Freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. But don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Beat it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Oh, really? Well, let me just show you something. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale. A spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you. Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Do, 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 do. No. I'm sure this is uh, this is the only problem now with this map. I love it, but God, do I get confused. Ah, here we go. See you in a bit, buddy. I need to just go this way, I think, first. It's locked. It's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and Ooh. dancing and scratching each other's backs. 
Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh, uh the solution uh, makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much for the follow there. Uh, Yoshi Sora. Yoshi Sora 97. I hope I said that correct, but thank you very much for the uh, the follow. Sorry, I was in a world of my own then. You bees thank are you being for stopping exploited. by and thank you very you much. Should for do the something follow. about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, man. I, I told you. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops, yeah, yeah, and then who really oh, runs the game? thank you very much. Right? I will, well, uh, no um, offense, but uh, Maximino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, oh, he gets his much. orders from some hardcore gangsters in Elmira. I do appreciate Elmira. it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I do the is same. Really with just a big she is great. She's brilliant with doing if stuff you like get that. My drift. Uh, so thank you very much. I um. I will, I will make sure I stop by on your stream and say hello. I've just checked. I'm already following you, so I'll, uh, as I say, I'll pop in. Hey, can <laughs> I borrow me? one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? <coughs> you know how much I had to oh, pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? Um, but, yeah, no, thank you very much. She's uh, she is great, Philippa. Um, you guys she's know introduced me to a lot of nah, great CBs streamers and, and, don't mix. and a great but community and stuff like that. Well, Feel free so, to drop your uh, sacred, link. There, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things see. just aren't the Back way they should this. be down here, this. Manny. It's like the worker it's bees. They do process. all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Yes, like the there you go. And feel free to chuck in your, uh, discount. Discount? We should... Oh it. my lord, I I'm can't speak now. Uh, feel free to drop in your your uh, Discord server link. Ah, thank you very much. I hope you have a fantastic day as well. What are you going to be streaming, by the way? Have you have you decided what what you're going to be streaming today, or? Um, you know what? I completely forgot what he was saying. I know what I need to do with this, dude. There we go. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? Yeah, feel free, Yoshi, to uh, chuck in your Discord and any other socials into the chat, and then if anyone else pops by, uh, they can check them out. I know that uh, my girlfriend, Red Omen, is in here as well, so she'll no doubt drop your following stuff later. Ah, you see, lost in random. Red Omen was uh, playing that a while ago. You know, I it looked really, really good. Colors, yellow and black. 
But so I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I do. I do need to try that game out. Actually, hey, not a big Mortal Kombat fan. I will right admit, I struggle Good. with uh, with fighter games. So I, I never really played them much. But uh, Fortnite. Fortnite's good. I do enjoy a game of Fortnite. I play it's Fortnite a lot. Um, Red Omen, uh, as I say, good she I uh, also. Hang on, let me see if I can check out hers. Uh, she does. Um, she does Fortnite a lot. Uh, she she plays Fortnite. She's currently running through. Oh, what's it called now? Oh, my head's gone. Life is strange. Is that the one? Life is strange. I think that's the one that she's doing at the minute. She's currently doing that anyway. She's play, uh, doing a playthrough of that. But she plays Fortnite a lot. Uh, and she also... Um, well, she's just kind of posted on her Instagram. Um, what she's planning on playing. Um, but yeah. As I say, I will definitely try and pop on, um, even if I'm streaming, I'll, I'll um, in fact, actually, let me just go to Twitch now, um, and I'll pop by your, uh, your stream, give some support, I always like supporting everyone, it's great, it's always good to have, um, you know, a great community and a great group of people that everyone Dude, 3.4 million? No, shush. That is a lot so, yeah, of money, so isn't it? When you pop on, I'll... Uh, I'll oh, I actually need him as a striker, right? Oh, I know what I'm doing. You will have to excuse me. My head's a bit all over the place at the minute. Oh, I bollocks. I can do. Actually, I can use him as a striker. Close that. Close that down. And then... Yeah, there we go. And then if I take that link, copy that and open my Discord, I will pop it in my Discord as well so that if anyone's on that. Uh, I watched Jack Sepsikara's girlfriend play Lost in Random and I love the arts. Give her a follow. I saw she was playing Life is Strange and probably not bad to even play Life is Strange. Ah, yeah, I haven't got around to playing True Colors yet. Um, it is on the list, but currently at the moment, uh, I'm doing a lot of sort of old point and click retro games. Um, so, Life, uh, Life is Strange True Colors will be one that I will end up streaming at some point. But yeah, it does look good. I can't wait to play that, actually. That's going to be good. Uh, sorry, let me just do this and get you posted on my Discord while I remember. No doubt Philippa would have also beaten me to it at some point. There we go. Right, so I've got you uh, posted on my Discord. Um... Yeah, but no, I, I do, Life is Strange is a, is a good one. Oh, hang on, I've got a hair now. Oh, right on my nose. Itching my nose. Um, can't help but wander around and look at... Ah, I tell you what, I remember um, playing Life is Strange, the first one, and that was... It was just really interesting and such a cool concept. Uh, so I am looking forward to this. Yeah, the it's such an interesting concept for a game, uh, especially the whole mechanics of being able to rewind time and change your, uh, you know, like your your choices, which will then affect the game. Because obviously, I'm a big fan of uh, the Telltale series. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Because um, I'm I'm a big fan of. Uh, story driven games uh, and I'm a big fan of obviously the Telltale series because of that reason and because of like your choices I know 
a lot of people will say like your choices don't really matter because it doesn't make any difference in the outcome of the game and uh, you know like most of the time it I, I I started to feel that as well that most of the time your choices as you progressed didn't really affect the game that much whereas the concept of being able to go back with life is strange and change you know like uh, what's gone and happened because you learn or you learn new information um, it, it's just a brilliant concept to me I absolutely love that uh, and yeah Telltale I, I, Telltale uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, those games were just brilliant my favourite is Wolf Among Us and I'm so happy that they're doing Wolf Among Us 2 um, but yeah the Telltale games are just brilliant yeah, the, 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 as I say, I'm a big, massive point-and-click fan, so story and puzzles have always been like my my go-to. I'm, I've am i always been a single-player over multiplayer kind of person. Uh, I'm, I prefer story over combat. Uh, like, Mass Effect is uh, is my one of my all-time favourite game series, uh, purely down to the fact that the choices and the story was just so gripping um the dark oh no i don't oh i don't know play the dark and trilogy no i don't think i have oh what's that one i don't think i've heard of that one hang on i'm gonna have to google it now Yeah, um, isn't it the, oh, what's the game called now? It's on Game Pass at the minute. Um, oh, maybe it's not what I'm thinking of then. Oh, that is a of interactive drama survival horror. Uh, that's probably why I've not done it. I'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to horror games, uh, so it could. It's probably not hit my radar. Although, if if you're saying that they're really good story games, right? I'm gonna have to have a look into it. Um, do you know if they're on Xbox? Only because I don't think my laptop would be powerful enough to run the games. So if they're on Xbox, I'll definitely have a look for them. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Oh, excellent. I love Xbox. <laughs> That was such a fun boy thing to do. I love Xbox. Yeah. No, um, I love all consoles. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not one of these elitists, or you know, I don't believe in console wars. Wars, you know, play whatever you want. But it's always like I do always have that little bit of a soft spot for Xbox, uh, which is what I'm playing. Oh, I love this. I don't know if you've ever seen it. The uh, the 20th edition controller. Absolutely love it. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Xbox has got a soft spot uh, and a special place in my heart. I just love Xbox. Um, so yeah, so it's great chatting to other Xbox streamers as well. Um, <gasps> oh! No, I'm only joking. <laughs> um, no, you know what? I grew up, I'm going to show my age now, but I grew up on uh, Amiga and Commodore 64 uh, and then Sega Mega Drive. Uh, and the snares and all of them and then uh, I went to PlayStation uh, and then I went PlayStation 2 and then uh, my friend gave me his old Xbox original and I was like oh, I don't really under don't really see the point in you know the Xbox nah. then Xbox 360 came out and uh, achievements 
and then I got hooked on playing games and earning achievements and then PlayStation 3 just never really I didn't like the controller I, I, I know you say that you prefer the uh, just because I grew up with them, and I know you like you've said you prefer the PlayStation controller. I don't know why, but for me, I always struggle. Now, whether it's because my hands are bigger or what, also, I like the fact that the analog sticks are offset, whereas the Xbox, uh, the PlayStation having to play with them both down there just feels weird, especially now that like analog stick is used for all movement, it kind of to me feels weird that the the direction pad is still the main sort of position anyway i understand why people prefer playstation controllers over xbox and vice versa for me my own personal thing is i like them being offset um but yeah i do eventually want to get like a, a playstation 4 or 5 just for the exclusives um oh gamecube yeah I love the GameCube. I want to actually buy a GameCube. I've still got my all-time favorite uh, is uh, um, Wind Waker. And I've been hoping and praying that Nintendo will release it on the Switch, but they're not. And it's really irritating me. Uh, but I've still got the old uh, version of it. It's up there. I can't. I, I would get it, but I've got all wires in the way. Uh, and so I'm, I'm, you know what? I was never one of those that kept consoles. I always sold them when I, when I upgraded. And now that I'm older, I'm regretting it because I had like the N64 and the GameCube, and they were all brilliant consoles. And I ended up, you know, selling them because I was always like, oh well, why would I reuse it? And now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, um, Oh, Atari. That is brilliant. I love I, I, Atari and all of those old consoles. I wish I still had them. Um, I prefer the whole symmetry of it because of, and my hands are very tiny. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. I understand why some people prefer PlayStation controllers over Xbox and stuff like that. Again, it's just you know personal preference and what people find comfortable for themselves. Um... I know, right? I, that's the annoying bit because I never, I never had to sell them. Like it was never like a case of oh well, I better sell them. I, I sold them purely because it was like I was always just one of those where I was like, well, I've got the new system. Why do I need the old one? And now that I'm older and I'm starting to become a collector, uh, and I, I like collecting things. Now all of a sudden I've gone. Why didn't I ever keep them? Why didn't I keep my GameCube? Why didn't I keep my original Xbox? You know, all of this kind of stuff. I I, I had uh, an original... I had, no, not the original one. It was the Xbox 360 Elite a while ago. And I ended up ended up selling that because I was just like, well, it's just in the loft collecting dust, blah, blah, blah. And then about six months later i started going you know what why am i doing this you know I, I eventually i'd love to have them all on display or something anyway i could go on forever about uh about all of that sort of stuff um but yeah i forget i do this i ramble a lot and then i forget what my point is but yeah it's it's um i do i do love like personally myself i'm i'm more of an xbox over playstation um but i don't you know i'm very much like play what whatever you're comfortable playing on i don't understand the console wars the you know they're both great consoles in their own right they both have brilliant platforms and let's face it if we only had one choice then the the market would become really dull <laughs> see i i um i was a clumsy child when i went outside and i think that's what turned me into an introvert and a a insider because i never got hurt much when i was no saying that i did actually i got a scar on my elbow you're not gonna be able to see it i don't even know why I, why i'm doing it but it's got a scar on my elbow where i tried to elbow drop my brother when we were off my bunk bed when we were playing wrestling and i scraped it down a screw that was hanging off the wardrobe because the handle on the wardrobe would come off 
and uh, as I elbow dropped him, I mistimed it and scraped it down the screw. Anyway, um, so maybe I was a clumsy child indoors as well. Who knows? But yeah, um, as a result, my 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 lad, he's inherited my clumsiness. Bless him. Um, oh God, yeah. I I mean, I was I was uh, social anxiety and stuff like that. I I have I suffer bad with it. Um, I think I I think I do all right on on doing Twitch because there's I'm talking to you but I'm not talking to you if that makes sense uh, like you're you're not here uh, and so obviously my social anxiety I can kind of control it although then I go like this where I start getting where I just babble on and on and on and and one don't play games while I do it I can't do two things at once. Uh, but I enjoy it. I enjoy talking. You know, like it's great actually chatting to you. I really appreciate you stopping by to actually talk. Um, but yeah, I am such a oh yeah, like introvert. My nan hate me because I was living there every night at dinner without. I would spill a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah. I could imagine she was not impressed with that. Um, see, my my clumsiness was I would end up at the hospital a lot. Like I cut my wrist open on a piece of uh, someone had, where I used to live. There was like a, um, a field opposite us, and uh, I remember playing in there with my brother, and we were, we were playing tag, and we were running around all the trees, and I fell over and cut my wrist on. A piece of glass, and I walked in, and my mum was like, "Oh God!" And she wrapped it up, and um, she, my mum doesn't drive. And I remember she was going, oh, "I don't know what we're going to do." And at the time, there was a policeman around the house because my brother had been beaten up by a bunch of lads. Anyway, long story. Anyway, this copper looks and goes, "Yeah, we better get him to the hospital." <laughs> hospital. My mum was just going to wrap it up in a in a wet uh, flannel, and was like, "Yeah, you'll be fine." And. Uh, and the, the 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 police officer was like, "No, I better take you." So I had a ride in the in a cop car to the uh, hospital. Uh, my first year in high school, when I was eleven in year seven, I was climbing over a fence uh, into a graveyard that was opposite the school, and I slipped, and they had spikes on the fence, and it went right through my leg. Well, not right through, but into my leg, and missed my bone by like two millimeters. The doctor said, and he was like, "If it had to hit your bone, chances are you would have lost your leg." Oh, I'm. Oh, another one with that forest. Uh, me brother's mate chuck, uh, fired a catapult with a stone in it at a tree, and I popped my head out from the tree, and it hit me in between my eyes. I've done all sorts. Anyway, sorry, I'm chatting away. All, all the sayings on the table were my fault. In the end, she just got a new one. I felt like I was riding my friend's bike, flipping the pedal around. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah, those pedals were horrible. Like, I don't know, I don't know about you, but bikes had metal pedals when uh, when I was a kid. Plastic pedals weren't uh, weren't really a big thing, and they had like the little spikes around them to, to, for grip. They were horrible. If you slipped and that went round, bang, back of your ankle. Oh my god, it was horrible. So painful. Yeah, yeah, they were absolutely awful as i say your foot would slip pedal would go around really quick and then as you lifted your foot up to oh yeah i can just oh i can feel the pain um yeah ah oh, horrible isn't it absolutely horrible see kids these days <laughs> i'm such an old fart but kids these days will never understand like they don't go out and play they don't, they don't, you know. But yeah, I, I've always been clumsy. Always been clumsy. Um, and as I say, my lad now, I've got three kids, uh, two girls and a boy, and my lad's them in the middle, bless him. And uh, yeah, he's he's the clumsy one out of the three of them. But yeah, they, they were brutal though, those pedals. I'm trying to think what else. Ah, yeah. Oh, 
I was always covered in scratches and scrapes and flipping scabs and everything else. I worked in a, I worked in a school for 20 years and um, yeah, whenever it, whenever a kid fell over, there was always that moment that my heart just was like, oh, because I knew. Uh, like, you'd get up and the gravel, the gravel, did you ever get that when you'd fall over in school and you'd scrape your knee? I'm rubbing my knee, I don't know why you can't see it. Um, but you'd get all the gravel in the in the cut. Uh, and of course, yeah. Yeah, they are. They are. They really are. They, they, <laughs> that's the best way of describing kids. Especially first thing in the morning. You wake them up first thing in the morning and they're like, oh, oh. oh. Okay. I, uh, they are. I, I love that. That is the best um, description of kids I think I've ever. I better play some, some of this while I'm chatting to you. Um. But yeah, that is the best script, the way of describing kids I think I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, uh, nothing worse. I'm going to just save because it has been a while. I'm going to save it on here. Um, <coughs> yeah, it was it was it, always and back in my day, it was just, there wasn't any of this. Oh yeah, you can't, you know, like you can't not rub it you know and get it out so we'd have the the blue paper towel wet so it's not even soft and they'd scrape at it you can't do that now what you've got to now do is you can clean it up but you're not allowed to dig the gravel out and so then you put a plaster over it and send them home to the parents to then dig it out um but yeah um uh, i can't actually remember where I, oh hello oh i didn't know you could do that Anyway, we'll go for the remastered. Um, I can't remember what I was doing now. I've done that. I've, right, so... Um, oh, yes, I know what I need to do. Oh, it, you could have... You, you needed to flip him reopen the wound. Wound. And, uh, and, and proper dig it out. It's horrible. Oh, there's so many like rules and stuff. Like I'm, I, I left my my uh, school job um, last year, and uh, although then again I'm I'm going hopefully going back into uh, into well not a school a nursery position but still oh god that'll be even worse for rules. Um, but yeah, you can't like you can't like if if they get. Um, a splinter, you can't dig it out. You've got to, you've got to just put a plaster on it and send it home for the, the parent to dig out. Um, yeah, it's, it's there's so many like different, different sort of rules and stuff like that. Evening, there. Lupe. And I understand Hi, why Mary. it's there because of you know. I have a note for you from Lola. Parents Lola. can be very. Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me. Here. Oh, no, no, wait. Ah, oh, be um, quiet. Here it is. So, yeah, so schools have got wait to obviously second. protect Advancing. themselves. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes. But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. <coughs> <coughs> mm. I'm getting over COVID, so I do apologise that I keep coughing. Um, I don't mean to. Hey, Gladys! I just had a run-in with Domino and Mechi. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Mechi. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. I've run out of my iced coffee. Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. Uh, I went. I went for like the whole of the pandemic like when we were in lockdown and everything without catching it. 
uh, still going to work because, I, as I say, I worked in the school. I was, uh, and one of my jobs was the school cook, so I was still in sorting pat lunches out for kids and dinners and stuff. Went through the whole of the pandemic, uh, nothing. Then uh, I got signed off work two weeks. Well, I think it's coming up to three weeks ago, uh, and I've been in the house. And I got it. And the only places I was going was school to drop the kids off. Bear in mind, I was still going to school during all the pandemic. Didn't get anything. It's the only place I can think of. I've got it. Flipping typical. Um, yeah, there's lots of rules that don't seem to make sense to me either when it comes to kids and stuff like that. But you know, when we leave, it's the way of the I'm world. Miss this place. How it, how oh, it man, all works it now, isn't it? Stay here. But hey ho. So, um, so you're going to stream Max later. Take the bone so, wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, sorry, we got, look good in these clothes. Yeah, I Glad as I can't live in this world forever. It's um, not where I belong. I've got to find Mitch and help her. So yeah, so are you in the States yourself? Should have been or on that train a year ago. In the UK okay, or? Hey, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm, I'm good. good. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, change the controls now, and now I'm struggling to get used to the new ones. Ah, Marillo de Oro. Ah, you're a very UK fine well. liqueur Fab. filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. Yes. No, I didn't want to do that. Back out I go. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat trick for printing fake betting stops. So now I have to come ah, here, Manny. <laughs> you know Which what? I, love. I really, really appreciate Which you stopping by and having a conversation. This is one of the reasons I'm, I'm doing Twitch and I want to do Twitch. Is don't get me wrong, I'm a massive gamer. I love playing games, hence doing it on Twitch. But it's the conversation side that I'm enjoying the most with it. Uh, meeting new people, growing a community, uh, growing, you know people who I know and people who can chat to and obviously stop in and watch their streams so yeah and again I am just a, an awkward son of a bitch and so I will just ramble instead of just going yeah I really enjoyed the conversation too and thank you very much I end up it's like word diarrhea but anyway but no that is you know I do really appreciate you stopping by and I've really really enjoyed having a chat to you uh, about you know just wasn't even gaming related, which is, well, some of it was, but that was a good bit. It was just general conversation, which is what I like. So I do really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, as I say, drop your um, drop your Discord in to chat if you want. Um, and I'll be definitely, I'll be sure to check it out. And I will obviously, I know what you mean. I'm terrible at small talk and talking in general, so. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I do. I, well, as, I, <laughs> as I'm proving here, I will just like ramble on and chat uh but i enjoy it i enjoy chatting to people i enjoy um you know like finding out about them and finding out about what sort of games they enjoy and other hobbies and interests and everything else um and that's one of the reasons i do do this and it's one of the reasons that i love doing this uh i just need to get that balance of playing a game and chatting because Hopefully, the plan is obviously to grow the community to the point that loads of people are in here chatting away. So I don't want to be stopping my game to chat. I need to be playing and chatting, but it's all working on yeah, on finding that happy medium. But at the moment, because I think you're pretty much... I know Philippa was lurking, uh, and so was Red Omen. Um, but I think because, because it is mainly you here... Obviously, I'm hoping you don't mind the fact that I'm not playing the game and I'm chatting away to you. But it's nice, because I can actually chat. Um, I'm going to shut up, because I'll just ramble on otherwise. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. 
<coughs> Isn't she and that beautiful? really is is frustrating. I do apologize. I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. Thanks for that. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Oh, anything. you can do. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. Nope, that's fine. Do not we worry about it. You go do your stream. I've got your, um, and I've got your stream rides a pale open. Horse. So no passports. Uh, on my Twitch. No. So I'll be in no, there in spirit. So and I'll be in there, you know, you know like, uh, as... As a, uh, you know, as a viewer, have a great <laughs> can't speak. Have a great stream and a great day. And thank you very much for popping by and dropping a follow. You you enjoy your stream. I'm gonna load it up now while I still remember. Where is it? No, that's your recent one. Go back. That's the one I want. There we go. Right. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Uh, just um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in uh, about two weeks, okay? Do, 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 Can do. you make reasonable union cards? Manny, are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Mexico, I can make you president of the city. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? Hey, I can get my Doctor Strange soon. On a rather Frick, large yeah. wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common cool. thieves. Here. Take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, mm. and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Oh, I have to do do do. All right. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night soon. Oh, don't you worry. He will be losing. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Do, 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 do. Uh, right. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these Rose Gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. This. This, uh, coming off in a minute. Hey. Yeah, this, um... There's a line coming off in there, sorry.
Anyway, so. Sorry. So, let's just go fill that back up. Uh, let's go have a chat to this dude. Yeah, so in a bit. This guy is going to uh, say one what of my sad favorite story. lines in this game. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. What exactly are you looking for? I am digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the <coughs> search could go on for some time. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here mm -hmm. in a jar. Would you like I to love see this it? Dude. No. Sorry. Old car on a joke. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, member you? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain of death within death, their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. And Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubacava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time, or you can't afford passage, or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Um... Yeah, we'll get you, we'll get you that, um... That'll protect you in a minute. Hey, Terry, that was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, maybe so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry. I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick, before the movement loses its buzz. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials H.L. I'm sorry, monsieur, but... Here's my pass, Jean-Claude. Oh, now okay. shut I those doors and drive. Oui, monsieur. But actually, my name is Raoul.
can opener wouldn't work there. I'd better not open it when it's full. That could spill a lot of juice. Hmm. Trying to get ahead of myself, I think. Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that. Well, I can do the same to you, Calavera. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. A friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Nah, he'd see me do it. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Many. Let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny, don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? No, I mean... Kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that twice. Your new waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town corner, Manny. Cut it out. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. All right. We're going to leave it there for now. Whoops. Um, just... Oh. 
few things that need doing. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, so a few things that need doing. Um, so what I'm going to do is leave it here. And um, I will be streaming again probably tomorrow around the same time. Um, so thank you all for stopping by. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.